Hello everyone, we are back. Today we're watching Breaking Bad Season 1 Episode 3. In the previous reaction, as you could probably tell, I was overwhelmed and speechless. Couldn't really connect words into sentences. Now I've seen way more disturbing things in um, movies and TV shows, but something about that episode caught me off guard. Yeah, so I couldn't really talk about what we saw, uh, but the time it took for me to edit the video and do my usual errands uh, helped me make a very short list, okay? I just want to go over a few things. Oh, first of all, uh, yeah, um, in the previous reaction, I've included a scene where Crazy 8 takes off the crust from his bread. I don't know about you, but uh, for me, it did something emotional. It gave Crazy 8 another layer, made him look childish, and it was quite endearing, I have to say. And then Walter acknowledged that and it's as if he's getting to know him on a personal level on, and not just as the guy who tried to kill him. Yeah, obviously I'm worried about uh, Walter's mental health. Uh, there was the scene in the class where the student asked, he asked about whether or not something will be on the midterm, but Walter and us, the viewers, uh, first heard murder, so... There's that. And then I'm scared for Skylar in the class. Walter talked about a drug that can cause birth defects. And I'm not sure, don't tell me yet, but I'm not sure if he was speaking out of experience. Meaning, is that why Junior, his son, is the way he is? Or was it foreshadowing? to what's to come to the baby. I hope it's not the letter. And that's it. I guess we left uh, the previous episode with Walter and Pinkman literally have a huge mess to clean up. I cannot wait to see that. Mm. Okay, let's start. That is so gross. Ugh. Oh my god. Which only leaves you with the trace elements. Down where the magic happens. Oh, wait a minute. What about calcium? Did they have a fair? Got a whole scalp. Yo, what's up? Yo. Hey, can you call me like in two minutes? Thanks. Bye. Junior. I go take this. Oh, and um, please <laughs> don't say yo. Why not? Yo. <laughs> not as far as you know. I mean, she doesn't really like her own sister, but she loves her nephew. Uh, what is he doing? Don't. Walter specifically said we are only making it, not smoking it. Do not let him go. Okay. Whew. You hope I'll make it easy and you just drop dead, don't you? Hmm. Well, I won't. So either kill me or let me go. You don't have it in you, Walter. <coughs> How do you know my name? What oh, the hell, oh, man? Yeah. What are you doing, man? You asshole. What? You told him my name. What's that to him? My name, where I work, you told him about my son. Don't touch me. Hi, Mom. Hello. Seven and a half, maybe, I don't know. Excuse me. Do you have these in black? Mm-mm. Anyways, so like I was saying. How rude. Party the other night? Yeah, Tony. Okay, sit down! Sit your ass down! Come right now, you two! Sit down! Shut the day! Okay, okay, okay. 
Walter Jr. Yeah, what about him? Marijuana. No. He's smoking it. Oh. Hank, he respects you. Yeah, all right. Well, listen. Uh, I mean, I'll swing by their place after work. Good. Scare him straight. Uh, what? Hi everyone, it's me from the future. I'm editing the video right now and um, I'm thinking this was not her first time doing that. She didn't look nervous at all. So she's probably done it a bunch of times. It's, uh, it's funny that uh, she's so worried about uh, Walter, uh, well, Junior, doing pot but then she goes and steals shoes i guess to her it's like a um, um, psychological mechanism like a a cry for attention because she's probably feeling like her entire life she was living in her sister's shadow yeah i just wanted to mention that let's continue this look like a nice punch <laughs> No, not really. Think you'd like to live here? <sighs> Junior is so no. cute. Sure about that? Yeah, pretty sure. Uh, I thought we were going to Coldstone Creamery. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's so cute. a little detour. I want to hug him. You know, come over here and check out how the... Junior is so lucky to have so many people take care of him and watch over him. Now, you on the pipe or you on the needle? Nothing. Neither. Yeah, yeah. Just show us your teeth, huh? Come on, Wendy, let's see those pearly whites. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. See that? Pipe, definitely. So what do you think? <laughs> cool. <laughs> Shut the door. Shut the door. Lock it. Lock it. Lock it. Mm -hmm. Who the hell was that? Ball player messing with me. They ask about me? Huh? No, I think they just wanted pot. <sighs> the longer he postpones it, the harder it's gonna be for him to do it. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yeah. You're at the car wash. Yeah. Oh no, she's there. I seriously doubt that. Mm. Since you quit two weeks ago. <sighs> Wherever you are. Don't come back. Why don't you just stay there tonight? Mm. Why? Why is he doing this? Why is he lying to her like that? Oof. How long is he gonna keep him in the basement? Oh, he's gonna take off the crust? Yeah, yeah. That's not for killing, that's for... Yeah. Oh my goodness. <sighs> oh shoot. Oh no. You've got lung cancer. Oh, you told him. Yeah, I guess he wants to make a connection with him. Um, so that Crazy Eight won't kill his family. They're gonna drink beer together. Yeah. It's safe. 
It's not poison. If the slang of wood doesn't suit you, then... Get out before it's too late. I don't know what to do. We'll get the key. Wow. What a beautiful scene. A scene of nine minutes and it was so... It went by so fast and it was... Great, just two people talking. Oh, now what? Uh, don't take the plate and... Uh... What? What? What happened? No. No, don't do this. Don't do this. Why are you doing this? Oh, did he take a piece of the plate? Yeah, I thought so. Oh, shit. Red thing, Walter. Oh, no. Hmm. So all this talking was <sighs> the TV creators, the, the show creators were just trolling with us, I guess. Oh no, he's gonna choke him? Oh. The moment I do, are you gonna stick me with that broken piece of plate? <laughs> Okay, we're back to disturbing. Woo. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at his face. Oh, shit. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. <sighs> so what did he do with the body? I guess I understand Walter and him having difficulties telling the people he loves the most that he's going to die and just, that there's nothing he can do to just change doesn't that. Seem like something's missing. What about the soul? It's me again from the future. Aside from the fact I hate this woman because she's flirting with a married man. Uh, she had a good point or an interesting point. Um, what do you think about the soul being a part of what makes a human 100%? I'm not sure where I stand with everything um, spiritual or supernatural. I did have um, many years ago... Uh, somewhat of an um, a special experience that felt uh, supernatural uh, maybe one day I'll tell you about it 
it's just it, you need the whole context of it and that's not really the time to talk about it uh, but yeah i don't know if it's like uh, you can put if you want to put a name on it and call it a soul then yeah but i don't know maybe it's just some energy let me know what you think about the whole soul thing inside uh inside the human body um and also what was the point of them summing up all the elements of a human body i mean i assume they're not the first people to try and do that um if you can tell me what kind of a uh a research were they working on um if it's not a spoiler I wonder if they did have an affair and did Skylar found out about it? If so, then that would explain this, that weird relationship they have. Um, yeah, okay, uh, let's go back to their reaction. Don't look at him like that. Mm, no. There's nothing but chemistry here. Was that before he met Skylar or after? I suppose it was after. What is he gonna tell her? Hey, honey, I'm home. I killed a guy. Skylar. There's something I have to tell you. Is he going to tell her about the cancer or him killing someone? <laughs> Which one is the hardest for him? Aside from the part where he kills, uh, what's his name? Domingo? This was a less stressful episode. <sighs> Poor Skylar, I mean, she's emotional as it is because of the hormones and and you bring on the lies and deception and hiding things. Yeah, that's not good for a marriage. And uh, Walter, yeah, I mean, he had to kill Domingo. Obviously, it was either him or Domingo. Yeah, when, when he fell and broke the plate, at that moment, I thought to myself, oh no, Domingo is gonna grab a piece and, I don't know, gonna uh, stab uh, Walter. But then I guess that's why they had this long scene of them talking, to make me forget that I even thought of that as an option. Okay, I cannot wait to start uh, the next episode and see what he's going to tell Skylar and where the, the investigation is gonna go. Uh, yeah, this is exciting. Okay, I'll see you next time. Bye!